Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I am going to dictate about the converter stations and the components which are included in this converter station, such as your uh, converting unit, your transformer, smoothing reactors, your filters are all are included in this converter station. <music> So firstly, I want to show you a one schematic diagram. This is the schematic diagram of converter station of converter station. Okay. So this is a one schematic diagram related with the converter station in which includes the different different components. Likewise, this is your 12 pulse converter. This is your 12 pulse converter okay actually it is a combination if I talk about the 12 pulse converter it is a combination of combination of two six pulse converter six pulse converter which is in series which is in series so this thing you have to know related with this so 12 pulse converter if you have doubt what is the 6 pulse and the 12 pulse converter if i talk about the 6 pulse converter so it converts the form a waveform so that uh, in one cycle so that in one cycle it will have it will have the 6 pulses in one cycle 5 6 3 5 6 Okay, so it is having the six, uh, six pulses in one cycle. If I talk about the 12 pulses, 12 pulse converter, if I talk about the 12 pulse converter, then in one cycle, if I talk about the one cycle is up to this point, then it will have the 12 pulses. Okay, likewise this. So it will have the 12 pulses in the 12 pulse converter. Similarly, in this diagram, I can show you that uh, these are the star star, and the star delta and here the star delta and the star star these are called the converting transformer and which is the written here okay this is converting transformer 12 pulse converter i have already told you smoothing reactors so that smoothing reactor is this okay third one is your smoothing reactors the smoothing reactors i will dictate uh, um, about the smoothing reactors in the further lectures okay now another is the dc filters dc and the ac filters are uh, in a they perform in the same way but uh, the pulsations uh, pulsation are reduced in dc in the dc filters okay now similarly the, this these are the components if i if i have to summarize this the basic fundamental this if I summarize this these components in a whole, then this is called the converter station, which consists your transformer unit, or you can say the converter transformer, smoothing reactor, filters, and also the uh, 12 pulse converters, which is a combination of two six pulse converter. So I can add the different different points here. Now look at here. Now look at here. So what are the? So I'm adding some different points here. If I talk about the converter station. So converter station, converter station having converter unit, okay, and in that converter unit we have converters, okay, which may behave as a rectifier, which may behave as a rectifier and also the inverter do you know what is the rectifier rectifier actually does it converts the ac signal transforms the ac signal into the dc and likewise the inverter does dc to the ac transformer okay so while doing this the converter station generally we use the single converter station or the or you can say the converter station on the generating side and one converter station on the load side but both the converter stations both the converter stations may behave as a rectifier as well as the inverters the power reversal can be seen here that is actually depends upon that is actually depends upon your alpha value so they 
this converter station can behave as can behave as rectifier as well as your inverter remember this r for rectifier i for inverter so it can behave as a uh, rectifier and the inverter so how can we change the if we if you want the ac to dc conversion then we will use the rectifier if you want the conversion from dc to ac then we have to use the inverter operation the operation the operation of rectification or you can you can say the inversion depends upon depends upon the firing angle firing angle one second firing angle in converter station okay if that actually that is represented by alpha if alpha varies if i talk about the alpha this is called the firing angle if alpha varies from 0 to 90 degree from 0 degree to 90 degree okay then it will behave as a rectifier if it uh, varies uh, alpha angle from 90 degree to 180 degree 90 degree to 180 degree then it will behave as an inverter so i can say there is there uh, you can you can see the power reversal operation that you can see the power re reversal station and typically the converter station is having the 12 pulse converter that i have shown you in this diagram this is the 12 pulse converter again i am saying that the 12 pulse converter is a combination of two six pulse converter in series okay likewise we convert all uh, we use the converting station like this i hope you have understood uh, up to this point and thank you